Hey everybody, so we're going to be doing Dragon Age Origins for our first game that we're playing and this game means a lot to me and if you click the card up in the corner then you can find out why. So I want to start a new game and so in the Golden City Blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the dogs. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Warden sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes, what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Man, Darkspawn are so creepy looking. So the origin I've always gone with is the human noble, and I've played other ones, but I've never played a dwarf. I think I actually at one point played a Dwarf Noble, but I've never played the Dwarf Commoner, so I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to first go with female, go with Dwarf, and I think I'm going to go with Rogue because usually I go with Warrior, so we're going to go with Rogue, and then we're going to go with the Dwarf Commoner, which says, born castless in a land where rank is everything, bound as the lackey and thug of a local crime lord. You've spent your life invisible until chance thrusts you into the spotlight, where you can finally prove whether you will be defined by your actions or your birth. Yes. And I think we're going to go with the name Fiona, because for some reason, I have Shrek on the brain. I think it's because I watched a Let's Play on Dreams with, like, Shrek going 
to hell and it was terrifying and so ever since then I'm like oh Fiona greetings okay we're going to go with um take this preset and then the skin I might fast through fast forward through this because it takes a little bit I think what is it so I actually had to record a couple of times to figure this out because it's the first time I've actually streamed so I wanted to have issues I had lagging issues and then I had uh, sound issues so I had to create the character already a couple times so I kind of know what I want to see I haven't gotten very far though like in recording so I'm kind of happy about that if I had made a lot of progress I would have been like no so the one problem I've always had with cheeks and jaw is for some reason I make the cheeks cheekbones too big and the jaw too small and it kind of looks like a sunken kind of like sour look like and so it ends up looking super weird. The voice. I have lost concentration. How do you do? Greetings. Greetings. Charmed. Greetings. I like the violent voice for her. Um, for some reason it's very pretty. I'm calling violence pretty, but I like it. So we're gonna go with this one. Oh my spell! Okay, and then why does it say ugh my spell when it's a dwarf? That doesn't work. Then we go. Next. And so, because we're a rogue, we are going to need dexterity. So we're going to do two here, willpower, because you want stamina for combat and techniques and special attacks. And then we're going to do two for cunning. And yeah, why don't we do coercion for the first one? And then I'm going to do below the belt for one. And then I really do, I want to do archery for I'm gonna technically be an archer eventually but I don't know when we'll get a bow so I'm gonna go with one power thing there and then we can get lock picking skills and I think for the difficulty we'll go with hard I am really bad at <laughs> doing anything above normal and the reason why I guess is because I play video games one-handed and so that leads to some interesting things but we'll try it and if it goes badly then well we can always go back to normal and deep beneath the frostback mountains sits ozimar largest and proudest of the two remaining dwarven cities once the seat of an underground empire Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord, Barat. Great. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone. 
just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, Precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. I don't want to do this in front of my sister. Why not? She knows the slope of the land, don't you, girl? Didn't I tell you not to talk that way to my sister? You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold cap teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the diamond quarter. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. I don't like to see him treating you that way. I'll treat her however I like, as long as you both eat off my plate. You keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. And her son will call you uncle and come visit on name days. <laughs> That's what everyone likes. A castless with a big mouth. But I didn't come for the joy of your company. I've been looking at my investments, and this one hasn't borne much gold. I'm giving you another week, precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. So get off her back and tell me my job for the day. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. You don't have to hide anything from me, Rika. I've always tried, though. At least I've kept you from buying your future with what's between your legs. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord oh, Harrowmont's nice. reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. I just wish we didn't have to kiss up to that cave tick. You know the other options. Cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. It's not fair that Barat gets to push us around. Money gives him power. He's got family on the surface, which means he can smuggle up lyrium and smithcrafts and bring down silks, wines, and furs. And he played it smart. When he started expanding, he made sure it was only the castless he shook down for protection, so the guardsmen didn't care. Gambrat really followed through on his threats. Don't underestimate him. Barat has thugs who'd kill their own mothers just to work for him. I don't know why I can't join the army and fight Darkspawn. It's sheer folly. One more way the nobles protect their status. They say castless soldiers are more danger to each other than to Darkspawn. That it's an insult to the smith to let us touch a fine-made weapon. 
Truly, they just don't wish to insult the warrior caste by showing that given the same opportunities, we could lead an army just as well. But haven't the Darkspawn almost overrun the current troops? Every year, more of the beasts come up from the deep roads. I've heard they've even been harrying the surface. Is anyone doing anything about it? Aye. They would even turn to humans for aid before us, it seems. There's been talk of an alliance against the Darkspawn. Even that the Grey Wardens have stepped up. But we don't have time for this now. Lesky must be waiting, and Barat won't like it if I'm late for my appointment. Bra expects too much from you. You know how desperate the nobles are for more children? They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could... give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate. And we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. Isn't the work I do for Barat enough? You've worked hard to keep him from throwing us out. I can only imagine the horrible things he's made you do. But... There are a lot of desperate dwarves in Orzammar. He could buy any one of them to run messages and knock skulls. I need to get going before Barat comes back. Goodbye. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. Potion. We're gonna do take all. Okay. So I don't think there's gonna be anything around here. I'm just gonna look just to double check because I am a person that is thorough. Okay. And then we have Kala. Kala. Ugh. The uh, pronunciation. Who's that? Why are you bothering me? Rika? <laughs> okay. It's the guardsman. You're under arrest for drunkenness. Don't you sass me, you ungrateful brat. I made you, and I can make another just like you. Please, Mother, I hate it when you get like this. Please, Mother, I hate it when you get like this. What, am I embarrassing you? Don't want anyone to see that dear old Mam's lush? Is that it? Doesn't it bother you that Rika has to hork herself out? She's got the body. Might as well use it before a couple of kids twist it out of shape. Your yeah, mom's an ass. I'm getting Rika out of here just to spite you. Take her! You think I need you here? You think I need anyone? I think you would be suffering alone. Just town. About sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Garow. Lesk, how's it shaping? Oh, what can I say? No money, no girls, no place to call my own. I've been writing an epic poem about it. It starts, Oh, you're really, really cursed to have no caste. You noble dwarves can shove it up your... But I Ask. couldn't think of a rhyme. 
cast Bast Blast. I'm not seeing Court Bard in your future either. <laughs> I guess we'll have to stick to playing the heavies for Barat. I just noticed he and Varric have the same voice. Oh my god! What's he got for us today? Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskias. Some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding back. He's stealing from Barat? I like him already. Well, yours will be a short and tragic relationship. You ready to show him some pain? What sort of goods are we trying to find? You know, gold, lyrium, spices. Anything that Barat might cut someone's head off to get. What do we do if he has been holding out on Barat? Well, if he is skimming, we kill him, of course. I mean, Barat doesn't let anyone swindle him and live. Bringing his head on a plate is completely optional, though. What sort of goods are we trying to find? You know, gold, lyrium, spices. Anything that Barat might cut someone's head off to get. Any idea where this Hoskias is? All he told me is find him. Duster's got some family from the merchant cast. He's probably staying near their quarters. I don't think it's right just to kill the guy. We're not just killing him. First we take back anything he stole, and then we kill him. Come on, you can feel bad later. Fine, but let's at least find out what he's done. Whatever lets you sleep at night, my friend. Exactly. I never noticed those are just like the little lyrium pockets. Or containers with lyrium, I'm guessing. Beggar. <laughs> this is the end. A new arch demon is rising, and Orzammar will fall. Well, that's dire. Hey, gorgeous. You looking for something to keep you warm tonight? Let's not. Tell your mother I said hello. Oh, hey. She knows my mom. Oh, I, I can work. Anything you want. My back's so strong. I'm sad. I wonder if the surface is so bad. I hear there's no ceiling. The air just goes on forever. <laughs> this guy. Two bits for the needy. The needy? Who do you think you're looking at, old man? I seen you before. You're one of Barat's girls. The one with the sword. You don't know from needy. Not until you're my age. What happened to you? I used to work in the mines, checking the new tunnels for bad air. Set me down with a candle. And there must have been a pocket of gas, because it went up like dragon's breath. Healer saved my life, but I can't half walk. What's a man supposed to do? Is there any way I can help? You got some spare feet? If not, a silver would fill that void real nice. Is there anything you can give me for my money? Ooh, you drive a hard bargain, soldier. You looking for someone to shine your shoes, clean your pots, keep you warm at night? No. No. 
Just tell me, have you seen a surfacer named Oskaius? Is that what you're looking for? That's worth ten bits, no? Tell me or your body might end up blocking a mine shaft. Go ahead. Beat up an old man if it makes you feel better. I see you're bad at tapsters. I was waiting out back, but they wouldn't tip me the dregs off the ale barrel. Said it was going to compost. But I saw another brad there with his surface money, and they served him. Called him Ascaius, sir. Look how his eyes glow. Was he armed? You think I got that close? Tavern keepers, they know all I have to pay with is dirt. Now get out of here, you're scaring off the other pockets. Alms, alms for the poor. Go here, then go this way. How about you? Please, I just need a bed, somewhere to sleep, fire. You? Who the dust do you think you are? I don't need no sodding help from some jumped up face brand card of thug. That's, that's nice. Thanks. Really? Spare silver. My boy needs medicine. The docs say he won't wake without it. Oh, poor kid. Okay. Let's go to the commons. Sounding castless breed like rats. What are you doing here, Brand? Yeah, apparently these guys don't like you. Who are you? Good day there, sweetness. You looking to make a quick bit? You could be just what I'm after. Probably not. You looking to step back before I hurt you? You haven't even heard my offer, girl. You look like you've still got all your teeth. Nice and healthy. I craft replacements for nobles who have lost theirs. I can pay you real handsome for some of those. One silver for two. What do you say? Ah. Okay. That's crazy. I'm not going to sell my teeth. You won't get a better price. I'm in demand, top tooth and wig shop off the diamond quarter, four years running. There are some who just take what they want off someone like you. I'm offering an honest deal. What do you say? Don't you have any legitimate work for me? No work's legitimate if they let you do it, sweetness. The assembly declared back in Darbier's reign that it insults the ancestors for castless to perform any work the recognized lineages can do. Really? Now, do you want it or not? One and a half silvers, and that's my best offer. Do you have any the rat wouldn't like you throwing that around. This guy's an artisan that's practically a smith. We don't need that high a profile. That sounded like a threat, Brand. You know the sentence for harassing a resident engaged in legitimate trade is public flogging and a hundred silver fine. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just leaving. Suit yourself. Plenty of brands are willing. Um, I'm not. I kind of want my teeth in my mouth. Have you heard? The King's got a team who found traces of Bronca in the deep roads. Oh? Found her body, did they? No, tools. Signs of camp, things like that. Paragon or not, Bronca's dead. She's been gone two years. No one survives the deeps that long. It's been a long time since the last Grey Warden visit. Lesky, you old scamp. What are you doing here? Trying to charm me out of another set of ribbons for your girl? Trying to talk you into being my girl, Olinda. You know my heart's breaking for you. Don't you go saying that around my husband. Who's your friend? Can't believe Les never told you about his best friend. Hey, when I'm with a lady, the last thing I'm thinking about is you. 
Well, look around, sweetheart. I'll slide you on the markup, being that you're friends. But I can't give anything away for free. Mm. Totally forgot, though. If we go like this... Let's see. How is this dagger? Guessing... Yeah. Like, nothing. In comparison... Oh, I can! Look! I'm gonna equip you. Oh, what are you? God dang it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on. Equip you. There we go. Fiona, I am gonna. Yay! Okay. Sash of Forbidden Secrets. Um, I don't do anything with that, so. I even got a bow. Yay! I'm so excited. Do you actually need, like, a mount of bows here? Great like, prices oh on God. all arms and armor. What are you two doing back here? You're welcome to look around. I'll slide on the markup since you're Lesky's friend, but I can't give anything away for free. Just don't touch anything if you can't meet the price. Oh, there we go. So she sells traps. This place is going to the nugs. Cast. Watch yourself. The Shaper doesn't need your footprints all over his clean clothes. Okay. Um... You work for a Shaper? And well, I might. After my mother took five years of her personal time sewing fine dresses for the head maid at the Shaperette, Mother tells me they never considered a single other candidate when the position opened for underwasher. Is working for a shaper that prestigious? It's barely under the king himself. They control Orzammar's memories. They oversee births, marriages, death records, histories, everything we do or are. Except you, I guess. Castless and criminals aren't allowed in a shaper's presence. If you're just a servant, aren't you castless too? I am not castless. I am an honorable member of the servant caste. I serve my betters as is my place, decided by the ancestors who granted my mother my birth. I am not a criminal. I'm not a criminal either, ex exactly. You were once. Whatever horrid deviants you're descended from were written out of the histories and deemed unworthy to join the ancestors. Obviously they bred anyway. But their children can't possibly deserve the same protections as those who were legitimately born. What exactly does a Shaper do? They control Orzammar's memories. They oversee births, marriages, death records, histories, everything we do or are. Except you, I guess. Castless and criminals aren't allowed in a Shaper's presence. Sorry, I'll let you get back to washing. As if I'd stop for you. But you did! Okay. We are going to stop here because it's been a half hour to an hour. And so I really hope you guys decide to subscribe. Uh, I will be posting my social media down below, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, my question to you guys is, what is your favorite origin? Like I said, mine is the human noble, but... I'm actually really enjoying this one. It's more, I guess, gritty, even though the human origin is kind of devastating. Please let me know down below if the webcam is too big or if I should put it in a different corner and what I should do because I have a choice between either the words being taken out or the powers that I can use being taken out. So. 
there's that and then also if you have any tips or tricks for the video game i am welcome to it because i haven't played in years i hope you guys all have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye